life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm at the press conference with the cast of Vita. And let me just tell you, they are the most enthusiastic cast. Take a look. This part, when you read uh, about these characters, uh, what was the first thing that came into your mind? Oh man, I mean, this, this show is everything that I hoped. I would get to be a part of. And I felt like if I worked hard and if I worked my way up, one day maybe this would happen. And I can't believe that this being my first TV show that I get to be a part of this. I was, I remember when it was announced, I was so excited um, that this show was happening. And I don't know what, I just never really thought that I would get to be one of the leads on the show. And then, it's like, and then, meeting Tanya Saracho and getting to work with her then being with Melissa, then, you know, everybody, it's like every single moment, it just gets more exciting. So that was a big part of like, you know, just wanting to be a part of it. Yeah. It's exciting. I'm a sucker for good writing. Mm -hmm. So when you get that, you're like, oh, I have to be a part of this. And yeah. then the, the characters, I immediately identified with Lynn. Like I could see myself playing Lynn. And when you, when you're reading something and you see yourself, I imagine, you know, whatever I'm reading, I can like see it in my mind. And when I can see myself in a character, I'm, I get so excited and so intense. And I'm like, I have to, and I pray and I put the candles <laughs> and I'm like, please, please. And, um, it was, I it those was, candles. <laughs> I'll get to the candles. Okay, I got me the you. candles. <laughs> um, but it was, it was just a, a gift. And, and for me, it was also my first job in the United States. So I feel like we're very spoiled. Yeah. We've become very spoiled because we get the best of everything. We get the best showrunner. We get the best writers. We get the best characters to give life to. Yeah. And and what better than to be on a female-led show with these and, and the Latinx characters. And being on a set where you can tell there was just this energy where every single person was excited to be there and every single person was putting their heart into it. Um, I just, I, you can't fake that. You can't replicate that. And that was just a big, 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 big part of why I think we we're, were able to do what we needed to do. Yeah. We guys have already filmed six episodes. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that you guys come back for more. Oh. Yes. Please. You hear that, Doña Lupe? Please. Doña Lupe, get, brown, let's get the candles out. Brown baby Jesus, please. Please, brown, brown baby Jesus, give us season two. What happens to your characters? Like, how do you want your story to kind of unfold? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, we haven't been asked that. I have so many things that I want Lynn to do because I feel like she could do anything. She's very unpredictable. Yeah. Uh, but I, I would like to see her try to move on from Johnny and see what's going on, what happens see if what she happens. And, and if that thing, that magnet that they have between them keeps coming back or if she's finally going to be respectful and be like, you know what, you do you and I'll try to do me. Yeah, I think I would love uh, to see Emma allow herself to be loved even a little bit, just a little bit, you know, and really like, you know, whether it's from her sister or uh, from Eddie, you know, she's actually surrounded with a bunch of people that want to love her and she just cannot accept that. And I would like to see what happens if she just kind of cracks that open a little bit and maybe allows herself to be loved and to be seen. You know what would be awesome? A trip to Mexico. I know. We also really a are road trying. Well, trip. We're trying to get a musical. Yeah. And then we're trying to get a road trip. <laughs> yes. So probably be Jesus you hear like, all that. Even <laughs> even if it's even if it's TJ. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's TJ. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can dream. We can dream. Chelsea. What's you're, up? You're your character. You're scary. <laughs> hey, that's how I am in real life. You know me, so it's okay. You don't want to mess with me. <laughs> how much fun are you having during that? Oh, my God. It's been amazing. It's been so much fun, like, getting to play with everybody. And I feel like, again, like, you kind of know me, so I'm very similar to Mari in a lot of ways, um, except for, like, the activism. That's where I had to kind of had to do my research. But I'm... She's strong. She's in your face. She has a big heart, and she puts this mask on of like 
more strength than what she really has. And I found out like about a year ago, I do the same thing. I didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so being able to put her like in front of the world is like, yes, this is what we need. Like a badass chingona Latina that isn't a chola, even though she kind of looks like it in a way, you know, but she's not. And it's like breaking down barriers. It's breaking stereotypes. And I love Mari. She's the best. I'm like, yay. <laughs> She's dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dígame. <laughs> That's I said it all. <laughs> What's wrong with Johnny? <laughs> um, you know what? Sprung. He's he's sprung, man. He's 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 whooped, is what he is. He's got, nah, you know what? Nothing's wrong with him, man. He's he's a, he's a good dude. He's just yeah. he's just you know. Love is a hell of a drug, right? Yeah. You know, it's just he's Linus is kryptonite, man, and uh, you know he's got good intentions. He wants to do the right thing, you know. He's um, for the most part, he's got a good head on his shoulders, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, but you, he has that one love that you just he can't shake, you know. You can't shake that that kryptonite, and um, which makes him do some. <laughs> Stupid decisions, you know what I mean? It's got him thinking with the wrong head sometimes, you know. But, but uh, but 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 for the most part, I I think you know he he's not a bad guy, you know what I mean? It's just I think uh, there's gonna be a lot of people that I feel relate to um, to the scenario, you know, the situation of just kind of wanting to do the right thing but trying to follow your heart at the same time, you know. Uh, about the show itself and what kind of drew you guys to your characters sure Goodness. um this show is very ambitious in that it's it's really tackling a lot of things and and doing it in a short amount of time and what's so beautiful about it is that there are there's nothing about it at all that's cliched at least not not in the way that we've gotten to know latinx characters you know and, and that's that's really beautiful because you're not seeing any of the cliches um and it is it's tanya's beautiful you know attempt at at working through and and normalizing a lot of the things that we deal with on on you know a daily basis and t and tackling those hard topics of you know there's immigration gentrification of family of the different generations and um and and finding your voice and and identity and sexuality and so it's it's a lot and and it's it's just it's so exciting to be a part of that conversation it's yeah. almost like they wrote it and she wrote it and they created it in a cyclical manner so it's like everything is happening all at one time or it's happening but in cycles and it's like life that's literally like and if you don't break the patterns they keep happening um and the way that she wrote it so when i first read like the one of the monologues that actually became like I think some of your lines too like mm -hmm. it was like yeah. it was it, but it was a monologue talks just it was to the heart and and it was just in the way that she wrote it, it was so nuanced and so it's so nuanced that as an actor you're diving in like this is a dream to be able to swim in this dialogue is such a beautiful it's what you want and like in your life as an actor like because you don't have to say the things you're going through you're actually showing them what they're going and instead of like okay so this is a story about queer brown like this is you know we're doing about the east side we're doing telling this story these people uh the mother passed away it's it is like and you get to act that like layer and layer and layer and that's like a human being that you're creating a character and that's like a lot of times the it's imposed upon you the image of the latinx the image of the queer is imposed do it this way Okay, let's do it that way, you know, but make it normal. And this way, it's like the other way around. Tell everybody where they can catch the show. Ooh, well, <laughs> catch. I mean, on Stars, May 6th. May 6th, yeah. Catch Vida on catch Stars. Vida. Life, love, and pop, pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.